Now, when you see us on your screen, then you know it's time to celebrate. Now, with that, I warmly welcome you to this exciting package of Metrophile. Now, this edition, amongst every other, will celebrate an amazing grace upon the life of this man, Pa Azaya Odimiri Kime, who celebrated the very rare age of 110. Yes, you heard me, 110. Wow, that's 110. You know what? Let's leave the details of that. For now, you'd want to find a very comfortable place to sit, and we have more stories for you, so enjoy this. But first, I think we have to take a sneak peek into this 110 issue. <laughs> All right, on the show this week, Metrophile celebrates a beautiful beginning between Raraka Gilbert and Ife Nwa Isiekwe. Also on the show, Kishimi Dogo and Turaki Aliyu exchanged vows and pledged to spend the rest of their lives together. Now he has seen it all and still strong and energetic. Now he is 110 years of age. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Pa Azaya Odimiri Kim. And children of late Mrs. Mary Oluiton celebrate the life and times of their mother as she joined the Saint Triumphants. Furniture is not just chairs and tables. It's what brings a house together and makes it a home. At Universal Furniture, we give shape to dreams by blending local content with global best practices to create some of the finest pieces in the world. We are leaders in the Nigerian furniture industry, and our customers are a part of our legacy. Come discover our showrooms and be surprised that what you see is made in Nigeria. Now, he was sent to the United States to study, but as a sharp Nigerian guy, as they always say, Ifeima Isiekwe did not only come back with a certificate, but also with a black American woman who stole his heart. Well, after seven years of courtship, Ife Inwa and Raraka Gilbert decided that they want to spend the rest of their lives together and trust Metrofile to capture all that happened at their traditional engagement. <laughs> For Ife Inwa Isekwe, going to the U.S. to study was the best thing that ever happened to him, as it got him closer to meeting his life partner, Raraka Gilbert. Today, their husband and wife. The grandeur ceremony where the new family was established began in this beautiful hall. Fabulous decoration and brilliant color combination all came to play as the Isekwe family from Ogwashuku in Delta State and the Gilberts from Little Rock, Arkansas in the United States of America threw the doors wide open to welcome their guests to the traditional marriage of their children. It was fulfilling for both parents, seeing their children take this all-important decision in life and having their family and friends share the joy of the day with them. This was clearly evident as the groom's father, Professor Michael Isekwe, a professor of orthodontics in the University of Lagos, led other members of the family happily dancing in. And all the way from Little Rock, Arkansas, in the United States, the bride's father, Mr. Larry Gilbert, and his family, who were already blending in with the Nigerian culture, 
were ushered in with some Ogwashuku tunes. That done and everyone settled, they make welcome first the groom, Ifeinwa Isekwe, accompanied by his age grade. Ifeinwa, an economist, is the technical advisor to the Statistician General at the National Bureau of Statistics. <laughs> And then the beautiful bride, Raraka Gilbert, who already perfected the Ogashuku dance step, showing it off proudly. Taking the cup of palm wine from her father in the presence of both families and guests, according to custom and tradition, she goes to identify her husband in the crowd. The journey to this celebration started seven years ago. The couple is excited that the day turned out to be reality as they proudly showcase the rich culture of the Ogashuku people. We've come here to celebrate his success and uh, to wish him and the wife uh, well. The tradition we are doing, uh, traditional marriage, is to esteem our culture. The bride and groom came from Little Rock, Arkansas, Bill Clinton's home. And uh, we want them to appreciate our culture. And since they've been here a week now, they've been seeing a bit of Nigerian hospitality. The traditional rites concluded. The chairman of the occasion, Mr. Hyacinth Enuha, made the decoration. I never proclaim them all Occasion like this attracts important personalities like 
former Deputy Governor of Delta State, Mr. John Edozian, founder of the Center for Value in Leadership, Professor Patutomi and his wife, Ifoma, Chairman Troika Group, Mr. Abiodun Shobanjo, former Chairman Zenith Bank, Sir Steve Omojafo, Chairman, CEO of Channels Television, Mr. John Momo, Vice Chancellor of the University of Lagos, Professor Rahman Bello and his wife, Chief Lawson Omokodion, among other A-listers. The couple changed into matching attire and went straight into the cake cutting part of the ceremony. They started this important journey of marriage and hope to stay together until death do them part. Here's wishing the couple a happy married life. Let's 